Right, having just made up that position, looking to make it another in the uh, on the way to Brooklyn Nelson. into the book. Yeah, Manoj Patel is slowing, ever slowing. He retired so early from the race at Silverstone, Manoj Patel, and it looks as though the car that started on the outside of the front row of the grid is crawling its way round through Murray's. He's trying to stay out of the way. He's indicating that he is suggesting for the pit lane. And I'm afraid to say that for Manoj Patel, the Gremlins have struck again, and very early on in the race yet again. What did the first lap at Silverstone? Yeah, it was, it was the first lap at Silverstone. Indeed, he had gearbox issues. I think it was gear linkage. Uh, failure at Silverstone and now um, here at Snetterton it could be brakes, I know he's put new brakes on that car and he had a, um, a brake hanger issue earlier on in the weekend he's already got it fixed but um, clearly some sort of mechanical gremlin Danny Cassar heading through Agostini now he's already pulled that lead margin out to one second Adam Brown's 3.8 seconds away now so it's a rocket of a first phase of a race for Danny Cassar but the mid pack is well and truly where you need to be looking for that is where all the action is taking place. Through Agostini goes the 189 machine of Mark Carey. He's looking to make further inroads and catch the triple seven of Michael Dwayne on the road. We've got another car in the mid lane. Mark, yeah, that's Dave Hutchins. The 49 car in the pit lane. They've qualified in 12th position. He's racing to position himself and his son for a couple of years now. Clearly, issues there. There's a good fight that's going on as well. That's between another one. So you know, that's Mark Carey. He's coming to the pressure. Thank you. 
earlier on, that's the uh, feed on this side of the other on the leading four schema, however, there we see the change of position. So we'll try and figure out exactly who that is going through Brundle now, so that's the two. 8-0 or 5-3-0 potentially. Oh, mid mid rust. Yes, it's mid rust. Yes, mid rust in the Honda Civic Type R has managed to work his way past the RX7. We have got the eight pit stop we have had a pit yet. We have had a Richard Field, which is that and Jason Field, which is so we're not quite at the halfway point, so it's not surprising that there is the Proton persona in the pit lane. Richard Field. Um, so, the lead of the Puma Cup in has come number 163 Luke Johnson, and also in has come Carla Porter which is James Clare, but now from Sir Dwight Stanley Kassar continues on his merry way, and the captain between himself and Andrew Quinn will continue to throw in, throw in, throw in, and we'll see it, we'll see it, we'll see it, I think we do, yep, so I think Andrew Quinn will, second position in the race, dives a bit late, yeah, and this is exactly the way Stanley Kassar is trying to do, no real pressure from behind, you'll know that car's gone, you won't be able to see him in his rear view mirror, I'm sure he was already struggling prior to Andrew Quinn going into the pit lane, but now Dan just needs to set a quick, clean and consistent lap time as it builds up that margin. 30 seconds success penalty that he got from winning at Silverstone. Still got them. Although not as close as they were earlier, James Wilson uh, battling his way in towards the uh, Proton It only just, of course, come out on track with, Jeff, uh, with Richard Jason in the field. Uh, but I think he got caught out and he went into the car that didn't quite have the grip that he expected and the free of that was going to be drastic and he's going to be part way down the street and he's going to be well held for sure because um, it seems like the rain might be slowly starting to get greyer and greyer um, over the um, other side of the city so we may see rain slowly starting to rain on the cameras as well there is the first time it's going to be going towards the back of the street there's a lot of great battle going on in the car. We do have the 189, we saw lots of battles in the park area early on in the race. He, he's in the pit lane, we're taking to the circuit. Uh, above the mandatory side, Andrew Windmill goes back past our commentary box now, through the protective equipment that comes up and away he goes. And uh, we'll be focusing on getting those points in the system that time. Number 777 Renault Clio is in, Adrian Matthews is with him for the morning. I can also see that uh, Adam Brown's car 